welcome to episode three of the Orkney series. Mm -hmm. Today we're out in the beautiful parish of Deerness. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> if you didn't guess already, this is Gina's home parish. Yes, it is, and uh, she's awful fond of it. So I'm going to let her tell you all about it. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, so we're in the wonderful Deerness. Not that I'm biased. Um, and as you can see behind us, we're actually at the Moolheed Local Nature Reserve. So we will be going to Moolheed, but first we're going to do a few stops on the way there. Now, the reason we're in Moolheed in Deerness today is because um, the title of our tune that we're doing today is Moolheed. And it's written by a native of Deerness. He lived here his whole life. He was the wonderful Davy Younson. Gina actually has known Davy her whole life. Yes. Um, as you can see on the screen now, there's a photo of baby Gina. So my sister and I were the first twins born in Deerness in over 50 years and Davy wrote us a beautiful tune called Deerness's Welcome to Gina and Kristen. So this was the day that he presented it to my family. Oh, <laughs> So cute! Right, that's plenty baby chat. I think so, yep. Shall mm -hmm. we? Let's go! Here we go! <laughs> So here we are at our first point of interest for you on our walk today and behind us you can see the gloop it's called and it's a collapsed sea cave which is a, only about two minutes walk from uh, where we just were. It is. is nice and easy to get to the gloop. As you can see there's actually some light coming through and that is the opening of the sea cave going out to the North Sea. Uh, the actual sea cave itself is 40 metres long and about 25 metres deep. And where we're standing right now, it continues underground, basically up to the car park. And if it takes your fancy, you can hire a boat or you can go with the people who own the boat and they'll take you through into the sea cave. It is fantastic and it's really cool to see. Second point of interest for you now at a fair rate of knots as you can see there. Oof. Oof. <laughs> um, and this is called the Burma Road. Uh, Gina tells me that we will get somewhere eventually, but it, I'm not sure. We've been walking a, a fair amount of time now, Gina. I know. I hate to actually break it to you on video harm, but um, this is actually known as the road to nowhere. <laughs> Surprise! It was actually built, the Burma Road was built in uh, World War II by British troops that were stationed up here. Um, and it's, it's said that, or the theory goes, that it was um, built um, as a project to keep them busy whilst they were waiting for the enemy to arrive. So yeah, it goes from one point down there to another point up there, and it <laughs> just a road to nowhere. Excellent, let's go. <laughs> Here we go. and then some. It's good fun. You'll enjoy it. <laughs> Our first trip. <laughs> of the Brock of Deerness. Um, if you remember from our first video, we were looking out into the Brock of Bursey and uh, the Brock of Bursey is a tidal island. And this, um, the Brock of Deerness, it juts out into the North Sea, but it's not quite an island. It is joined by a really narrow, tiny little strip of land. Which you just witnessed us coming across there. It was very exciting, <laughs> the whole thing. The way to get up to the top is you basically have to climb the side of a cliff. And that was Harp's first time and she loved it. <laughs> so, as you walk over uh, the Brock of Deerness on the island, you will find loads of holes scattered all about. And here are a few just to show you here. These holes are actually shell casings. Um, they date back to World War I when the Royal Navy was stationed in Scapa Flow. And the Navy came out here and used the Brock as target practice. Never. They did. So these are shell holes and um, yeah, so much for ancient monument conservation. <laughs> oh, hello. Here we are at 
the chapel on the Broch of Dearness. This is a 10th century structure and uh, it was originally built as a Christian monastery. So Moolheed's actually been covered by a brilliant uh, Orkney band, that's where I first heard the tune, and uh, it's a band called Nos. Yeah, it's Gnos. It's got a silent G if you want to check them out. Gnos. Um, Gnos. But that's right, isn't it? They covered it, did they? Mm -hmm, I think so, yeah. Maybe on an EP or something. I can't remember. Something like that. An EP, I think. Yes. Is that right, Graham? 